Good morning everyone. I hope you're doing well. So today I wanted to try a small tiny project. Uh, oh no, one chicken is out. Again, is she out? Um, no, she's not. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, a small uh, tiny project uh, that I wanted to do for over a year. Uh, the daisies are out and I want to make capers, is that how we say that? Um, in French it's called capre and uh, it's the, those green little things that uh, I like to put on my uh, bagels with uh, cream cheese and salmon so uh, I will probably find another way to use them than that but uh, I was excited to go and try <laughs> and try this new recipe so I am by no means an expert even anyone ex uh, experienced in that field I've never foraged daisies uh, buds I think it could be called uh, nor cook them so I'm going to show you what I'm doing but uh, if you you're really interested in that try it out I mean I don't think that anything can happen from what I'm doing but if you really want to make sure of what you're doing just make your research about that so what I'm looking for is for daisy patches uh, these are not opened yet I think I can forage these we want the daisies that are not opened um, I try to collect the ones that are really, really closed like that. long process it took me I'd say about an hour collecting that by myself if uh, if my kids if I didn't feel like being alone I would have asked my kids to help I think but I wanted some this uh, this little time to myself this morning um, so I got a jar like that and uh, I thought well since I'm going I, I wanted to go big on this one and collect like four or five jars. I'm not willing to uh, spend a whole day doing that for now at least uh, because I wanted to can them. My kitchen's a mess as usual. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to, I was thinking to can these because you can, you can can these, uh, but it's so long to pick. I think I'm just going to do a jar and see how it goes because if I don't like them I don't think it's worth a day or two to pick and can and everything so I'm going to process these today that way I'm gonna be able to taste them in a two or three weeks I think maybe four and uh, I do do uh, daisies have more than one cycle I don't know but if they do then if I like them I'm going to try again uh, and if not, next year I'm going to pick more than that and, and probably involve the kids. So I'm going to start to let this soak because uh, it's, it's from outside and uh, there, there were a few bugs on them. And then I'm going to remove all the little stems like that. My, my, my fingers are dirty, I'm sorry. So I want just the little bud. Same thing with the um, dandelions. Uh, I did try the recipe. I burned half, uh, not half, but like the big batch I was cooking. So it was really disappointing because it's a big time investment. But um, when they come back, because I think we have two, two um, harvesting uh, uh, occasions to to for, with the dandelions, we'll cook some more. Um, then the lion honey, but now we're gonna go with the capers.
being a longer project than I planned. Not that it was long, but because I just we finally opened the pool and went uh, went in and uh, I did. Uh, I'm dehydrating uh, onions and things like that. So it's right now 5:30. <laughs> it's time to eat, and I just finished this project. I I figured that if I don't finish it before supper, I won't finish it. So I'm glad because. I didn't think I had much, but I have two uh, 250 millimeters uh, jars plus one like that. Is that 250? Yeah. Uh, so I can't wait to try this out. This is going in the fridge. Basically, what I did is uh, to blanch them. Uh, I removed most of the stems. So I'm thinking worst thing, worst case scenario, if there's some left well i'm gonna eat some stems i don't really care um so this needs to be going in the fridge for two to three weeks uh there's water vinegar and sugar and salt so i can't wait to try this out i don't even know where on what i'm gonna put this but we'll, we'll find out in the meantime so thanks for hanging out with me and see you next time bye